Imagine your dream home, then triple it in size, add decorative detail and huge pool, then it will probably make this top 10 list. As much as we love our own homes, it's always interesting looking at some of the most expensive, luxurious properties around the world. From castles to mansions. A few uber-rich buyers, such as Brazilian-born philanthropist Lily Safra, purchase historic estates and renovate it to suit their tastes, sort of like building their own personal helipad. However, some take it a notch higher by building a palace for themselves from the ground up, like the Villa Le Cedre on the French Riviera, built for the King of Belgium. We make a list of some of the most expensive homes in the world some of them are so expansive, they deserve their own pin code. Number 10. Xanadu 2.0, Washington DC, USA. You would expect one of the world's richest men to make it to the list of people who own the most expensive homes in the world. Not surprisingly, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates and Melinda's home, Xanadu 2.0 in Medina, Washington, makes it to number 10 on our list of world's most expensive houses. The 66,000-square-foot home took Gates seven years and $63 million to build. Xanadu 2.0 is an earth-sheltered house, which means it is built into its surroundings to regulate temperature more efficiently. The 60-foot pool is located in a separate 3,900-square-foot building. This apart, the house has a 2,100-square-foot library with a dome roof and two secret bookcases, including one that reveals a hidden bar. What's more, the artwork on the walls can be changed with just a button. How's that for high-tech? Number 9. 18-19 Kensington Palace Gardens, London, UK. It was designed by Philip Hardwick for Sutherland Hall Sutherland, and the first tenant was the civil engineer James Meadows Rendell who probably became resident in early 1852, and died there in 1856. Princess Haya of Jordan resides in Kensington Palace Gardens. The home comes with 12 bedrooms, Turkish baths, an indoor pool, and parking for 20 cars. A property stood so elegantly on Billionaire's Row, just next door to Prince William and Kate Middleton, valued at approximately $128 million. Previous owners of this most expensive house in the world include the de Rothschild family, early 1900s, the Free Poles, 1939-45, David Khalili, art dealer 1995-2001, and Bernie Ecclestone, Formula One chief, 2001-2004, and Lakshmi Mittal, the Indian business boss of Arcelor Mittal, the world's largest steel manufacturer. Number 8. 7. The Pinnacle Montana, USA. This absolutely stunning house is the largest property in the Yellowstone Club, a private ski and golf community for the mega-rich, is owned by Edra and Timber Baron Tim Blixith. Not only does this home show beautiful, lodge-like design in and out, but is also situated in a location where there is either lots of green or lots of snow, so you can enjoy the best of both worlds. Valued at $155 million, this home offers multiple floors, a gym, wine cellar, private ski lift and even heated floors. Number 7. Palazzo di Amore California, USA. It comes as no surprise that one of the most expensive homes in the world is found in Beverly Hills. Jeff Green, a successful estate entrepreneur and American politician, owns this beautiful property that genuinely looks like a holiday resort. It comes with 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, tennis courts, a huge swimming pool with waterfalls, a 27-car garage and even a private movie theater and ballroom. What we love about this property is each home more or less has its very own theme to it. Valued at $195 million, this is certainly one of the world's most expensive luxury houses. Number 6. Ellison Estate, California, USA. Located in the Woodside is this $200 million estate owned by Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle. Due to its value, this estate holds 10 different properties, a man-made lake, tea house and bathhouse, all with an immaculate lodge-like design in and out. With stone fireplaces, comfy velvet sofas and wooden pillars, this estate is the ultimate wooden property with outstanding lake views. Though his 2012 purchase of the Hawaiian island of Lanai has been his largest overall investment by far, Ellison's made a number of blockbuster purchases over the last two decades. Number 5. 4 Fairfield Pond, New York, USA. We knew New York would pop up eventually. This 63-acre property is the home of Ira Renner, owner of the Renko Group, a holding investment company in auto manufacturing and smelting. With 29 bedrooms, 3 light-up swimming pools, 91-foot dining room and its very own power plant, this home is definitely an expensive one. What's more, it's a great bit of land for those who are sporty and active, as it also boasts a basketball court, bowling alley, squash courts and tennis courts. 4 Fairfield Pond has a property value of $248.5 million. Number 4. Villa Le Cedre, French Riviera, France. The Villa Le Cedre on the French Riviera priced at a whopping $410 million is fit for a king, probably because it was built for the King of Belgium back in 1830. 
The 18,000 square foot home comes with 14 bedrooms, an Olympic sized swimming pool, a wood paneled library holding 3,000 books on flora and naturalism, including a 1,640 edition of a botanical codex, a man made pond with Amazonian lily pads, a bronze statue of Athena, a chandelier lit ballroom, a stable big enough for 30 horses, grand sitting rooms, 19th century portraits in ornate frames, and stunning woodwork throughout. With a list price of $410 million, the owner, the Italian distiller David Campari Milano Spa, is betting that the house's combination of history, luxury, and a prime location will be enough to make it the most expensive residential sale in history. Number 3. Villa Leopolda, Côte d'Azur, France. The villa has had several notable owners including Gianni and Morella Agnelli, Isaac and Dorothy J. Killam, and, since 1987, Lily Safra, who inherited the villa after her husband's death. A Brazilian philanthropist and widow of Lebanese banker William Safra, this 50-acre countryside estate includes a huge greenhouse, a pool house, outdoor kitchen and a guest house. In comparison to the other homes, it doesn't offer as much despite its price. But it is situated in a stunning, peaceful countryside location in France, so maybe the $750 million is worth the price. Number 2. Antilia, Mumbai, India. Designed by Chicago-based architects Perkins and Will. With the Australian-based construction company Leyden Holdings taking charge of its construction valued at $1 billion, this is quite possibly the most extravagant property in the whole world. Whilst building a 27-story home in one of the most poverty-stricken areas in the world might sound slightly and harshly boastful, makes Ambani, India's richest man, thinks otherwise. The home is 400,000 square foot with 27 high ceilings and it has been brought to light that the building can survive a deadly earthquake. We seriously don't want to miss a single feature out for this home, so we decided to put it into a list instead. Three rooftop helicopter pads. Nine high-speed elevators. A steel and glass structure. Two-story health center containing an indoor swimming pool and jacuzzi. Six of the floors is a family residence dedicated to his family. Houses for the staff. An entire floor is dedicated to the servicing of his cars. 50-seat home theater with a wine room, snack bar and entertainment space. Dance studio. Six-story parking, accommodating a maximum of 68 cars. Number 1. Buckingham Palace, London, UK. The Queen of England is the queen of real estate. Buckingham Palace is technically a crown property and comprises 775 rooms, 188 staff rooms, including 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 92 offices, 78 bathrooms, and 19 staterooms making this not just the world's most expensive residence but also the most roomy. Its presentation is absolutely immaculate, with symmetrical, Themed rooms covered in detail and color as well as highly expensive and one-of-a-kind art masterpieces and chandeliers. In terms of size, the palace checks in at approximately 828,000 square feet and the garden alone is 40 acres. However, despite its impressive size and taking the title of the most expensive house in the world, it's still not the largest palace in the world. It's estimated that if the palace were to be put up for sale, it would be somewhere in the region of $2.9 billion, but it's highly unlikely it will ever happen. Thank you for watching. Please hit a like, subscribe and notification.